The start of the new academic year can be very joyful and stressful at the same time. At this international school based in Baku, the classes were launched on September 9th, one week earlier than at many schools across the country. The most excited ones are, as always, first graders. For them, this is the beginning of a new chapter in their lives, the entrance to a more independent life. Classes with first graders are conducted in a very relaxed and interactive atmosphere. Kids play various games, do exercises, draw, watch videos and interact with each other. It's really so interesting to be grade one teacher. At the same time, it's very challenging as the expectations from the children are very high. We need to make our lessons interactive, colorful, interesting, in order not to make uh, children bored, you know, to not, uh, in order not to feel them bored during the lessons. We use difficult, uh, di different techniques. We use manipulatives. We use uh, visual uh, learning. And uh, children uh, are not just sitting during their classes they can dance they can work or they can sit on the carpet they can watch some movies and videos educational before being admitted to the first grade children go through the preparatory classes where they obtain basic English skills and knowledge such as counting uh, what do you want to be in the future you want to be a doctor no you want to be an astronaut no what do you want to be? Football player. Wow, you want to be a football player. Good. So, what do you like at your classes? Do you like doing exercises? Yes. Do you like drawing? Mm, mm, yes. What do you like the most? Exercises. Arina, an international student from Russia, says that one of the most important aspects of her school is that it gives a voice to pupils. Pupils have a voice and for me it's very important. I believe it's also important for others, she notes. I take right now from the electives, I take IGCC history, IGCC business. My favorite subject is actually history because I find it very challenging and very engaging. I feel like in my future, in the career path that I chose for myself, I'm going to actually need it. So in the future I want to be, uh, I want to have a job that's connected to sciences and of course English will help me in my future career. So first of all, it can help me to study in university because um, in this school all our subjects are in English language. Secondly, a majority of people in the world speak in English so it will be easier for me to communicate with them. And thirdly, uh, when I return from the university back to my motherland Azerbaijan, I want to uh, be useful for my country. The pupils often come to the library where they can read both books related to their classes and bestsellers of world-renowned writers. Arina and Ali say they love spending their free time in the library. According to some parents, studying at an international school gives their children more opportunities and options in their future careers. Being functional in English will give them advantages in life and children will have access to universities and study abroad opportunities, says one of parents. Why I was looking for an international um, school because I wanted to give my daughter opportunities, different opportunities. Even if she stays in Azerbaijan, this school gives a um, chance to get a local education. We, they receive a local attestat, local um, diploma, and as well as international. So after she graduates, because we didn't know what she wants to become, where she wants to study when she graduates, um, so to give her more options, not to narrow her choices, we came to an international school. All classes at the school, except Azerbaijani and Russian, are taught in English. The program of the school is the Cambridge International Curriculum, but it's based on Azerbaijan's national curriculum. Thus, pupils also take subjects related to the history, geography of Azerbaijan, as well as the Azerbaijani language. In our lessons, we have very interactive um, lessons integrated with technology. We believe very much uh, in the importance of having digital citizenship and global citizenship. Um, so our teachers integrate the use of iPads into their lesson, 
Uh, the classrooms have interactive whiteboards that the teachers can use uh, through the lessons. Um, and we also have a designated ICT lab. There are 638 pupils at school from Azerbaijan, as well as from many different parts of the world, South America, Africa, South Korea, Russia, the Philippines, the Netherlands and Turkey. One of the opportunities provided by an international school is that pupils study in an international setting that will help them avoid cultural dissonance in the future and make their path towards a successful career smoother. Rana Gaeva, Jafar Gassimov, Azerbaijan Television.